Welcome back, I'm Rob Lang and this is my co-op exploration game Clomper. In this video I'm going to play through the game. We're going to lay pipes, navigate the world, complete a quest, probably crash and we're going to repair too. This is unscripted and I've never recorded in this naturalistic manner before so uh, I apologise if it's a little bit scruffy. So here we are, welcome to the inside of the Clomper. Here we have four boilers at the back, and then we have eight stations. We have three legs to port, three legs to starboard, which is the right-hand side. We have a map in the middle, which is currently off, and have a con in the middle here, and everything is off at the moment. There's no steam being fed to these things, so they're off. And we can tell they're off because they each have an indicator ball here that tells us how much steam is going into them. This one has none whatsoever, and the same with all the legs. So let's get some steam going. There's two ways of doing this. You can either link the pipes from the boilers over here to over there, and I shall show you how that goes in a moment, or you can go from the stations back to the boilers. Now let's do the stations back to the boilers because I can show you how the pipes work now. So we have three types of pipe. If you look at the bottom, you can see them in the inventory. We have straight pipe, bent pipe, T-pipe, and the delete pipe, which isn't strictly a type of pipe but I've not found a good way to deal with this any other way for the moment so there it is so we're gonna put some straight pipes down so you can't just put pipes anywhere I'm clicking the left mouse button like crazy there you have to line up with an existing port and we're gonna take this one in the ceiling here for the con and you click the left mouse button and it makes a pipe and you can see it flashes to E uh, and I'll show you why that is in a moment if when we get down to the bottom here we could keep trying to make pipes down into the floor but it won't let us Instead, we want to put a bend in. So I select the bend pipe, I hold down the left mouse button, and then I can press the E key, and it will rotate the pipe however I want it. There we go, that's perfect. And I'm gonna put another one on the end there. Sometimes you get lucky, and it actually puts it in exactly the way in which you're thinking you'd like it, but not today. So there we go, so we've got these two stations linked up. I'm using the T piece here, so we can use the same steam pipe all the way from the boiler out to here. That's one way of doing it. Now let's do the other way. Let's say I wanted to take this pipe here and stick it out to there and I went a bit crazy out here like this and I wasn't really paying any attention. As you can see, the whole place turns to steam pretty quickly. Uh, it's quite a recent addition, actually, and one I'm very happy with. But if we remove these and let the steam clear, uh, then we can actually do some more pipe laying. So if you're not very careful with the way in which you're laying your pipes, then you'll find that you'll fill the whole place up with steam and then it's very difficult to see. So there we go, I've laid these pipes in here and it runs from the boiler all the way out and then splits off to go into the map and up into the con. So let's look at the map first. Here we have a bunch of hexes that gives us a representation of the outside world. You may have noticed there are no windows or doors into the clomper. There will be a door eventually, but it will be bolted shut. There are no windows because it's a hellscape outside, so this is pretty much all we have to see. There will be a periscope in the future, but that will be only good for looking at things very close up. So we've got a couple of mountains or obstructions in the back. We don't really know what they are, they're just obstructions. And we've got um, a whole open space. And this is the con in front of us. You can see it's powered up, the indicator ball is now glowing white up there. And then we've got another ball here, which is our health. We have speed, which has an arbitrary scale on it. A compass with the red pointer telling us which direction we're going in. The red pointer doesn't move, everything else around the compass will. And then these four holes in the bottom here, and the tube at the bottom is the quest and the quest tracker. So let's have a look at the quest tracker let's get a quest going because we want to know which way to go we, we don't know where we're going yet in the world so let's use a quest to do that we're going to left click on this quest and it'll open up and we get a message from someone called Lawrence who is outside of the clomper probably dearest friends please guide the mechanical marvel that is the clomper to the location I have encoded in this quest tube thank you Lawrence kiss for some reason. Anyway, I'm going to press the right mouse button to close, and we could discard this right now, but for the sake of brevity, I know, too late, we're going to pop it straight into the tracker there. As you can see, a green marker has popped up, and <laughs> oh, 
Oh, thank you, random number generation. It has placed the quest right behind us, so I'm going to have to turn the clomper all the way around, and I'm willing to bet to you that it's going to point us straight at these mountains, but we'll come to that in a moment. We can also, uh, it, as I said, take the quest out and have a look at it again and then pop it back in and then the quest marker will just move back around to where it was. So you can move your quests around and you can order them. There's only one at the moment, it will only have one at a time, but in the future you can have up to four. So let's get the clomper moving. Now to do that we need to connect the, one of these legs here to the boiler. Now the speed of the clomper is based on the number of legs that you have and the amount of steam so if you link up one boiler to all the legs then you won't turn very fast now we've connected one boiler up to one leg so that's giving this leg quite a lot of steam you can see it's moving there and the indicator ball is glowing full and we're turning quite well here so that's that's pretty good what we're also going to do for fun is we're going to link up the other two share the steam across all of these and get it to turn a little bit faster but also we're going to uh, have see the indicator balls see something other than full probably unless I've broken them no they're all seeing full okay so they're all showing full we're now turning a little bit faster and you can see that the markers moved around we'll keep going for another turn our speed is still zero because we're not moving we're not actually moving forward I'm going to reduce the speed of turn and it will make life a little bit easier later so we're going to it'll make it easier for us to uh, actually point it the right way but let's go faster just for a moment let's come all the way around you can see the the compass spinning a bit quicker there and the hills are moving around and I guarantee when we come round it will point us straight at those mountains because that will be south there is a bit of lag on the green pointer I'm going to reduce that as you can see if we were to go straight to the south then we would crash which is typical so let's move around a little bit further thank you very much game for doing that that's a little bit of retribution there for all the times i've sworn at it no doubt and we'll just make sure we're lined up nice and clear of these mountains and we'll get the other side moving on now of course if you had some friends helping you then your life would be a lot easier because you could one person could be laying pipes oops properly as well not like that and one person could be steering and when there are more stations there'll be more jobs to do so it'll be really worth your while to uh, steer now I've just linked that straight up and I've turned back towards the mountain dear oh dear that's, that's terrible play let's just move around so we're clear and now if we link up pipes on both sides you can see the speed has now come up and we're doing a hearty seven I'm not a big fan of the way in which I've got the speed algorithm running it's a logarithmic scale but it's not quite there so here we go hopefully we're going to see a red patch which will uh, show us that there's a quest area but there's not there's more mountains brilliant so <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to navigate around these mountains so if we come as we come this way we're now looking for a point where we can turn around to the left and we that will take us through this gap that I'm seeing through here so that's probably enough now I've removed the pipe on the left hand side to turn to left and if we stand here we can see all the mountains moving round so that we can then have a nice clear path forwards lovely let's link up at that point and hopefully we'll move through that gap and I don't hit that a crashing is something I do a lot because I don't really pay attention to what I'm doing and they end up crashing while that's moving forward let's put some more pipes in the way these forward legs, the forward and mid leg, are put in are, are put together so they're kind of easy to link up. That was quite important to do. I noticed that when we were playtesting together, my son and I, uh, do we want to stop yet? Probably. Uh, my, when we were playtesting, we found out that you tended to have the first set of legs for going slowly and then all the others for going full speed. Uh, it will be a bit more complicated that in the future because I will be damaging legs beyond repair so you're going to have to work around that a little bit but that's the general concept so we got we, we need to turn now to the right the green marker is on the right so we want to turn round to the right so let's do that let's move around to the right nice and slowly and we don't want to hit this big old mountain here and you see the green marker is coming back round to the front so when that comes right up close, what we're going to do is come to a halt. 
and that's still pointing at another mountain okay well let's roll off in this direction then let's clomp along and we'll see how close we get are we going to skim this mountain here no i think we're going to be just about clear let's try a bit of ludicrous speed for fun right so let's link up both of these we now have some speed going onto these and you can see it's up to 13 and the quest marker's moving ah i can see some red markings oh that's brilliant it's placed it right up close it's fantastic now before we move any further i want to show you uh, another thing that you'll be doing a lot in the main game and that's refactoring your pipes so putting your pipes in a new order as you can see here we've got three boilers running and that's enough to give us all the speed that we want however if we've got more stations uh, than we have power for and that's the way in which the algorithm will eventually work we're going to want to share all the boiler power amongst everything so let's link up these pipes and I'm going to do this through the top. So they're going to come along the top here and they're all going to link together. It's up to you how you do this. I don't think there's going to ever be a perfect way. I think there are ways in which it makes life more difficult if you just place them randomly. But again, if that's what you want to do, then that's up to you. So we've got all of the boilers in use now. The map and the con won't use any more power than they need. So only need a little bit. But now we're going to have full power going to the legs. So they will move quite fast. But we're really close to our quest area, so we don't want to go too quickly. So I'm going to link up. Let's do a little bit of a turn. This would be much easier with two people. So we want to come around just a little bit. There is some inertia on the turn of the clomper, so we have to be a bit careful. That might just skim the area, so let's get it So definitely pointing. Oh, I can't wait until there are valves. Uh, no, that's going <laughs> to... We've overshot. Let's just come around just a little bit. And that's probably perfect. So now we have to link up both of these really quickly, otherwise I will turn. Here we go, and we'll clomp our way forward. Very nice. Now if we want to go even slower, we could take one boiler and share it between all six legs. And then that will clomp us along at a very sedate speed. Here we go, we're very close. Now we might, when we clip this area, then it will suck the quest in, which will just disappear because there's no animation on it at the moment. And it will give us a new one. There we go! And then in a second or so, it will give us a new quest. So we're going to come, what we're going to do now, so there's a new quest and I could take that out, read it. It reads the same at the moment, there's only one message. But what we're going to do for fun is we're going to show you the damage model by going full speed. Here we go, straight into this mountain. So I'm off pretending to do bits and pieces, refactoring pipes, maybe another, oh no, and there's this, there's been crash. So there we go, we have crashed. And the first thing to do is make sure we've come to a halt. And I think this time we have, thank goodness. We've got a whole bunch of broken pipes. Um, oh yes, this is all in a right old state. And we have some damaged stations, do we? None of the legs are damaged, that got lucky. Um, what about the map? The map seems to be fine and the con, ah, oh, the con is damaged. As you can see here, the con is showing me an E, which is telling me that it's damaged. Now I hope to put in a nice animation or a change of model for damage, but for now, just trying to keep things simple. So you can see a lot of the pipes that were linking up the con have completely blown off there, which is great. So to do repairs, uh, we go over to the item that needs repair. We press E and we can go left, up up down up left left and there you go and that's now repaired what we're going to do is we're going to link up the con if we can so this might be a little bit random um, so we can see the health indicator so the health indicator will tell us how much damage we've done now in situations like this I, i'm playing it very much in a creative mode and in creative mode you don't really care about your pipes um, it's it's not really a problem if you use too many pipes or you don't have enough but it, when I come to do a bit more of the creative or sort of the survival side of the game then you won't have all the pipes in the world and you won't be able to fix everything all the time so you'll have to do these kind of weird pipe configurations that are a bit untidy just to get all of your stuff back now you can see there's the mountain that we hit brilliant oh I'm colliding with this girder here we'll fix that in a minute and the health ball is still filled up which I'm delighted to say is a bug so that should probably oh it's it's come down a little bit let's run up this girder and have a look I love running up the girders yeah it's come down a little bit it should be much lower than that still 
never mind. Let's <laughs> let's move on. I'll make, mark that as a bug to be fixed. So if I click E on this girder here, I can go up, up, down, left. I'm using WASD for this. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And it will pop up back into the ceiling, destroying a few more pipes on its way. It's fantastic. And you can see once again, the, <laughs> the, uh, the con has become completely unlinked. There. Doing pipes up in the ceiling is really, really complicated. I could just run up the girder and have a look, closer look, but that's where the complexity of the game really is. That's not easy to do. Uh, and the damage ball hasn't changed at all because it's a little bit broken. Let's uh, let's fix this one up, and then we'll close up this video. There we go, and it's taken out that pipe again, which is hilarious to me because that's what it's supposed to do. And you can see you can, you've got loads of pipes here that are a bit broken and we can clear those up and that's just deleting pipe like any other. Now of course if you'd still had the legs connected then you would still be moving so you might find that sometimes you hit something and then you hit something else and then you can keep hitting things until it's completely broken. But fortunately our speed shows that we've stopped and the map isn't moving. So that's where I am. That's as much game as there is. There are all the features I've got in there is so much more to put in. There's so much more. But as you can see, I've made great progress. Now, if you've got any feedback for anything you've seen, then please do leave it down in the comments. If you like this video, then please hit like. And if you want to see more, then hit subscribe. Thank you very much for your time and getting through to the end of the video. That's amazing. And I shall see you in the next devlog. Bye bye.